So in the restaurant business, it's common to have a friends and family a night or nights because you want to basically give the entire system uh, a dress rehearsal. You want the staff to be uh, impeccable because when customers come in, you, want, you don't want them to have a dress rehearsal experience. You want them to have the real deal. How have your guests? I was going to say between uh, Chad and I, we have hundreds if not thousands of friends and family so I want to just elaborate a little bit in case you weren't invited to a friends and family it really is a room full of guinea pigs we we make sure that you know before you come that you can't complain you can't send it back you you it, it's anything could possibly happen obviously we hope that it doesn't it gives it's really an opportunity for us to train the staff it's not something special that I got invited to a friends and family night. Yes, you're still very special to Willie. He loves you dearly if you don't happen to be at one of these events. Yes, yes, absolutely. It's a perfect location. You can't miss it. I know. You know, and it's a perfect sign. Yes, very Art Deco. Yes. I did that at about 10 o'clock one night. Oh, you decided I to... Did. Uh... I did. I did. The, I did the logo. I had asked someone for help and I wasn't crazy about some of the ideas and I just started playing with it again getting back to my control issues so there you go yes that's why he wishes there were five of them but the reality is he wouldn't delegate anything to any of the other four there you go so uh, well we look forward to experiencing it tonight okay good remember you can't send anything back and you can't complain me? complain? oh and the, the light just came on how perfect Hey everybody, Nicholas Snow here, and you are watching Itinerary on Promo Homo TV. Now, Itinerary uh, celebrates out of this world experiences while being out in this world. Of course, that is in reference to LGBTQ plus uh, tourists. And uh, this show, however, this network is for LGBTQ plus everyone. And whether you're a tourist or a local here in the Coachella Valley, you'll want to know about Willie's Modern Fair. Now, in my work, by the way, the hashtag of the day is hungry, hashtag hungry. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. But, you know, uh, this is an inside comment, but many of us are on the road of happy destiny. And once in a while, I get to do something in my work for someone that I really love. And Willie Ryan would be one of those people. Willie's Modern Fair from restaurateurs Chad Gardner and Willie Rhine opened with great fanfare yesterday, Friday, February 18th, 2022, in Rancho Mirage, California. I'm going to you live, of course, on February 19th, but I ate there the night of the 16th at what is referred to as a friends and family event. But as you heard from Willie at the top of the show, we were guinea pigs. What a great gig, I got to tell you. And uh, so if you didn't get invited to that, it literally is because it's a dress rehearsal for them to uh, get out uh, all the kinks. But coming up, I have exclusive pre-opening footage. I introduce you to Willie and to Chad, uh, Chad Gardner, and I showcase the food and the decor. I talk with uh, some friends of mine who happened to be there that night, and they were very happy. And I uncover a bit of history while I'm at it, and uh, you're definitely want to you're going to want to stay tuned, and you're going to want to share the episode because that's what's coming up. For their support of my show, I want to thank DAP Health. Their motto, one of them, actually it's not a motto, it's a value statement. We welcome all people, period. 
And I'm broadcasting live from my home studio in the affordable house, housing complex of DAP Health. I want to give a shout out to 849 Restaurant and Lounge. Willie Ryan and John Paschal have been longtime supporters of mine, and I'm grateful to shine the light on 849. I'm a proud media sponsor of the LGBTQ Community Center of the Desert. Their motto their mission statement, creating a vibrant community by helping LGBTQ people along their way. Their red dress tickets, their red dress dress red party tickets went on sale and they might be sold out. But guess what? I will be giving away a, a pair of tickets to the red dress party between now and the event during a live broadcast so stay tuned for that i'm a proud media sponsor of palm springs pride and you can find actually four complete palm springs pride parades at promohomo.tv for their support in amplifying this network across the twitterverse i want to give a big shout out to the hashtag i love gay campaign and to my media partners kg1065 palm springs the hashtag i love gay palm springs podcast and gaydesertguide.lgbt if you are having merch envy you don't have to you can get a, an official Promo Homo TV t-shirt at Amazon or go to the merch link at promohomo.tv. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. If you're watching on Facebook throughout a live broadcast, you'll see a bell. Click the bell and you'll be remind of, reminded of future broadcasts. And you can follow me on social at uh, all of those platforms on the screen right now. So one of the really cool things about Promo Homo TV is that I have viewers that have stepped forward to become voluntary, voluntary paid subscribers for as little as $10 a month. And on Sunday, April 24th from 3 to 5 p.m. on the patio at 849 Restaurant and Lounge, I'm having a big, a big subscriber thank you party and 60th birthday celebration. The only way to get invited is to become a subscriber to the network and if you subscribe by the end of April one of the perks you get is inclusion in a legacy reel so everyone that becomes a, subs a subscriber by the uh, end of April will be added to the legacy reel and uh, here are some people that have stepped up to do just that And if you're local in the Coachella Valley, you can actually attend that event if you sign up and become a patron, my birthday party, uh, subscriber thank you party. If you're outside the area and you subscribe and you can't make it to the event, you'll have an opportunity to participate virtually. Now, if you're watching this particular broadcast live on February 19th, if you enter hashtag hungry into the comments, you'll be entered into a drawing at the end of today's broadcast for this particular uh, bumper sticker. Actually, don't put it on your bumper. This fades outdoors. But you'll be sent a really, really nice sticker uh, uh, the third month of your support. So I wanted you to know that. Um, you've had all the promo homo stuff, and I, I really do know that you want to... Um, uh, you want to watch Willie and the restaurant, but uh, one of the people that you're going to, you've already seen that you'll see during the broadcast is my good friend Raphael. And he says, oh, oh my God, I just remember our meal feast we had there at the new Willie's restaurant in Rancho Mirage this last Thursday. It was Wednesday. Everything was so delicious. 
and Diego, Raul, and me are watching. They're watching in Tijuana, my friends in Tijuana. Yes, I'm a global sensation. Actually, I'm not, but Willie's uh, Modern Fair is going to be. So, without further delay, I think that we should watch this documentary that I spent 12 hours editing right now. The time has come. What we've all been waiting for is here. Willie's Modern Fair in Rancho Mirage has opened. And with me is Willie himself, Willie Ryan. Uh, I'm sure there must be three of you. Uh, I wish there was three of me. No, it's just me. I'm running around town like a little crazy man. So how many decades have you been in the restaurant business in the Coachella Valley? Uh, two and a half. Two and a, 25 years. 25 years. You started as a teenager. I started, yes. Thank you for that. Yes, of course. And uh, um, my, my journey with you in the restaurant business happened when I got to work with Willie at 849 Restaurant and Lounge, which you co-opened with John Pascal. Then you collaborated with uh, Chad Gardner at the uh, uh, Gastro Pub 1501. 1501, which uh, we're celebrating our anniversary tomorrow. Um, which is, uh, this, will, this will air after the fact, but that's uh, February 17th. Correct. And then a year later, Willie's Modern Fair is opening. Correct. And uh, so two of these restaurants have opened in a pandemic. Um, uh, people, are, people probably say to you, are you crazy? Uh, I am crazy, but I don't think I'm crazy for opening a restaurant in the middle of a pandemic when you've got <laughs> a great reputation like we do. We've, uh, we've become well known for offering uh, great food and great service. And yeah, we were able to open uh, 1501 right in the heart of the pandemic when uh, we actually started planning it in 2020. So we uh, adopted that slogan as in sp despite the world's worst uh, global pandemic where we were established in 2020. Uh, you've also been known to be sort of a, one of the Valley's preeminent high-end caterers through your various restaurants. And I know that that's how you solidified a powerful relationship with Chad Gardner. Why don't you talk a little bit about that connection? So Chad and I have been doing catering and events. Uh, he owns a company called Dash and a Handful. Uh, he was more of the events organizer um, and we provided, uh, he created the menus, we provided the food, we provided the service and we've been doing that as a collaboration for the last almost five years. Um, that, that grew our relationship so when Chad came to me and asked if I would like to partner with him at 1501 it was, it was a no-brainer. Uh, Chad is also uh, he likes to step back and just sort of let everyone else do the work and I'm very controlling and I like to be in charge so it's a perfect partnership. I sat next to him for four years, I, I can concur, but <laughs> in, a, in a loving, gentle way. Uh, so uh, this was a very popular restaurant called Bernie's. What happened to Bernie's? Um, Bernie's closed or took time off during the pandemic. Um, I think they just decided that it was time to retire. Uh, Bernie's was very successful as an entertainment spot. They did dancing and had uh, lounge and entertainers and did well uh, in that area. Um, but I'm not sure how well the restaurant itself did. Uh, we're not doing dancing and entertainment. My reputation has been, even though I was in the theater business for a while, my reputation has been for good food and good service in the restaurant side. We're going to experience it for ourselves tonight at a friends and family night. Uh, but what kind of food is on your menu? How does it differentiate <laughs> itself from other places? It's completely different than uh, our other restaurants, for example. Uh, Chad's other restaurants have an Asian Asian flair. This is definitely have a, has a European flair. Fair. We're using the word fair. Sorry. Um, we, I like to describe the lounge as a very cash, casual food and di fine dining in the dining room. And the lounge, is it going to be the same as the other restaurants? No reservations available, first come, first serve, great Correct. prices, great Correct. All of that. options. All of that. My, my goal and I think part of my success is establishing restaurants that have a little bit of something for everyone. Uh, by, that, by that I mean having a casual setting in the lounge where you can just come in. I, I don't know if you noticed, there was like half a dozen people just walked by us to go in and have a drink in the bar. 
uh, and then fine dining in the dining room, but also we have a couple of private rooms so we can cater to pharmaceutical dinners, private events, private uh, functions, etc. Well, that's pretty incredible. Uh, ha I you, have you sampled everything that's going to be on the menu? Not everything, but a, lo of a the, large amount. Of the, of the items you've sampled, what's your favorite? I don't know if I have one yet. Yeah, but you yeah, will. Yeah, they're, they're really all good. The, the salmon is amazing. Uh, the, uh, the bass is delicious. The la I had the lamb three ways last night. Uh, they have a shepherd's pie in the lounge menu. I think I'm going to do the lounge menu tonight. Okay. I'm feeling casual. And what is your, uh, what are your hours of operation? We're going to be open uh, Tuesday through Sunday. We're closed on Mondays. Tuesday through Sundays for dinner at 5 o'clock. And then we'll be open for brunch on Saturday and Sunday. And what are your brunch hours? Uh, from 10 until 2. And uh, what we'll is open, the... We'll open on the 25th for brunch. We're okay. taking this weekend just off. We're going to concentrate on dinners only for a week. Is there anything you'd like to add that we haven't talked about? Just the, we're super excited. I, I, uh, I was involved in Rancho Mirage uh, many years ago when I ran the Acopa, Piero's Acopazza for uh, Jerry Keller and Piero Piero Tony. Um, so I'm ex super excited to come back to Rancho Mirage. We did a fundraising event for the Children's Discovery Museum where all of my old friends, which included almost all of the city council, were here that night. So it was really nice to be back here with some familiar faces. And the, the reason that we called the restaurant Willie is because I've grown a reputation for good hospitality throughout the valley. So people recognize the name. So let's go into Willie's Modern Fair. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Hi. Nice I haven't seen you on see you. Facebook in so long. Yes. Well, we're here to shoot footage of your fabulous place. And if this is uh, an example of what I'm about to experience, it's going to be an exciting night. Thank you. Good, how are you? Good, good. How, how, how are you feeling at this moment? Uh, you know, uh, excited. We're, we're, we're doing a good job. We're, uh, um, everybody's happy last night. We're looking forward to another night of practice service tonight and then our, our official opening on Friday. Well, uh, I know you were really busy, which is why I didn't chase you down, That's but okay. uh, is there anything you would like to just add uh, about the opening of the restaurant? You know, I think uh, I'm, I'm a little biased, but I think we're going to be the best new fine dining restaurant in the Valley. Well, I'm looking forward to experiencing it tonight, and if uh, your track record speaks to it, then I think you're right. Thanks very much for, uh, for coming in. We appreciate it. My pleasure. So what's your name? My name's Jenna. My name is Perlita. And your host, Oh, see, yeah, yes, you know. <laughs> I'm Joanne. I'm I've been, one of the hostesses. I've been friends with Joanne for a long time. Nine years. And Jose Al. Yes, you know me too. So. Yes, I do. Well, are you having dinner tonight? We are, yes. Reservation for snow. Okay, wonderful. Well, as you can see, this is our vast wine room. So whatever you have, you can even bring your own bottle of wine and we'll be more than happy to uncork it for you. Okay, and then, for a corkage fee, of which, yes, of yes, course. which is a very nominal fee for you. This is the main dining room. As you wow. see, all linens and everything here ready for you. Full staff waiting to serve you and take good care of you. Yes, they are. And then up the stairs here on the right-hand side, beautiful room. This is our mirage room. Has a fireplace. Beautiful, oh, is, as you can see here, too. This is gorgeous. It has really, it has sort of a very old-school feel to it. It is. It's wonderful. As you know, the these other restaurants are ready to serve you and always with the customer in mind, with the guest in mind. 
So. And have you been in the restaurant business for a long time? No, not at all. As a matter of fact, this is my second day, but we're working it. Oh, well, we're you know, working it. Willie has a way of bringing people into this industry and they never leave. I'm excited about it and looking forward to be part of the team. What is exciting also is that we have a patio. And so here, this table, for example. Party of 12. Yes. Would you say you already you have a party of twelve of friends and family tonight? So no, within this table, it's all this is a great round table for a party of twelve. Oh, I got it. Uh, so it's you don't see that a lot in, in restaurants. So it's a beautiful to have a round table. It's great for a conversation. Also, my chef's table uh, will seat up to twelve, and that has a private patio for cocktails and hors d'oeuvres prior, if you'd like. Oh, we'll go. We'll go check that room out. We'll check that room out for sure. Thank you. You saw the beautiful artwork that is all over the restaurant. Different themes for the different rooms. And here also is the patio, white linens, wine, wow. everything ready for you, and the fire pit. There's so many different worlds inside this restaurant. There is, there is. That's the yes. fun part about it. Can we look at the chef's you table? Bet. You bet. Come see. All right, we're coming to it. It's very private, very nice. As you see here, chef's room with his very own fireplace. And of course, a lovely view of Rancho Mirage. And a place for outdoor patio cocktails if you want it. You bet, you bet. Wow, this is beautiful. So from one to 10, it's a 12, isn't it? It certainly is. Now where's the lounge? The lounge, let's take a look. Let's go see the lounge. Oh, the, you, this is the You'll lounge. see the artwork in the lounge. That is fun artwork. Come and take a look. Hey, Noah. And of course, this is our famous bartender. How are you? Good, how are you? Wow, this is amazing. So this is a large room. And this is the great part about this room is that it's open seating. So you don't have, if the, we have a full house, like we have a full house for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but you still wanted to be a part of the action and, and participate, you can come in the lounge. The lounge is no reservations. Just come on as you are and enjoy specialty drinks. How are, how are you, Noah? I'm doing wonderful. How are you doing? I'm good. And what's your name? Francisco. Nice to meet you. Thank you guys. Welcome to a Willie's Modern Fair. We're super excited to be here tonight. Uh, in our second soft opening. We're going to have a little bit heavier traffic tonight, so we're working out the kinks and we're excited to get going and make people happy. Well, I'm sure you will. I'm sure we will. It's great to be here. So this is the lounge. It's it's quite spacious and I'll be entertaining tonight over here on the grand piano so we'll be back with dinner coverage after this Hey everybody, Nicholas Snow here, the founder, producer, and host of Promo Homo TV, with information on how you can score an exclusive invitation to my 60th birthday party on the patio right here at 849 Restaurant and Lounge. Promo Homo TV is free across major social media platforms and at promohomo.tv. My goal for my 60th birthday is to find 600 people in the entire world to voluntarily subscribe to Promo Homo TV for as little as $10 a month. If that's you and you subscribe on or before April 24th, 2022, you'll score an exclusive invitation to my 60th birthday party on the patio right here at 849 Restaurant and Lounge. 
if you're outside the area and you subscribe before that date or any time during 2022, I'm going to send you a surprise gift in the fourth month of your support if you're unable to make the party. I'm also offering through April 25th, 2022, 50% off the business listings at Promo Homo TV. And my goal is to sell out all of my series sponsorships as well. Promo Homo TV is connecting the circuitry of humanity by creating programming for LGBTQ plus everyone. And together, we'll continue to give the gift of Promo Homo TV to the world. For more information, simply go to patreon.com slash promohomo TV. That's patreon.com slash promohomo TV. Signing up is easy. I hope to see you here. So everybody, I want you to meet the person who's taking care of us tonight. Hi, what's your name? My name is Remington. And Remington, uh, I know you've been around the Coachella Valley for a while because I've seen you before. How did you end up here on the opening crew for Willie's, uh, Willie's Restaurant? Uh, well, when I saw the ad that they're hiring and I knew Willie from 849 and I knew the area and I'm like, I'm on board, I want to be there. So I haven't done fine dining in seven years, but last time was back in Hawaii. So I've been here in the valley working in different positions and uh, hotels, but um, back in the uh, restaurant business with Willie. So excited about it. So last night was uh, the first of the friends and family nights. What kind of feedback were you getting from the people that you served? They all loved it. Um, They're all friends you know, and families from the uh, owners and the chefs. So especially when it was free, so <laughs> no, they, they, they had a great time. Everybody loved what we uh, presented and they were patient with us as we were practicing on them, so good response. Well, fantastic. So Noah at the bar hooked us up with mocktails because I don't drink at all and my friend Raphael is too busy texting to drink. I saw the scallops featured on television. They looked really good. The scallops are great. So it's uh, pan-seared sea scallops on a bed of a sweet potato puree and uh, 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 root vegetables, uh, root vegetable pure pearls with a pomegranate gel. It's a very nice dish. Scallops right now are, it's the first time I've ever had to put market price on a menu. Oh, right, because it cha everything because changes. Everything has just gone sky high. Usually that you see that with lobster. First time ever in my career I've had to put market price on a menu, but we I wanted to have it on the menu, so we got. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, the other dish you were interested in was the you said this the the, the lamb. The lamb. And, and there was one other one that Actually you, I'm not interested in the lamb, I'm interested in the uh, New York strip steak or the, the prime rib. Uh, so I, I don't know. I want potatoes, but the only one that has the potatoes is we, the prime rib. We can we can substitute if you want to bake potato elsewhere. You want mashed potatoes. We also have celery puree. So whatever you like, we have steak fries. Just ask your server, and we'll we'll be happy to accommodate you. Okay. Prime rib is great though, and all of our all of our meats are prime. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome.
So the advantage of going to a, a night called Friends and Family is you bump into really friends who are like family. And these two lovely ladies that are at the table with me fall into that category. Jenny Peacock and Carol Trailer, who are realtors on the go here. I loved it. I love the I love the interiors, particularly when we walked in. It's very nice, very elegant, and the food was excellent. Um, and what did you have for dinner? I had monkfish with caviar to begin with. Um, followed by a butternut squash ravioli, and then uh, prime rib. Oh, yummy, yummy. <laughs> Very yummy. And, and Carol, uh, what, are you, what did you think? Oh, it's wonderful. The, the plates were like works of art. I didn't want to eat them, although I didn't have any problem once I started. <laughs> And you're a, you're a chef in your own right, so uh, uh, you have a very sophisticated um, body of knowledge. Uh, and uh, what was your favorite part about the meal? Oh, I think the, the, the obviously when it comes comes down to it, it's the actual flavors and, and expression of the chef in terms of putting different things together that work. And and again, the artistry in the plates was unbelievable. Both of you have known Willie for a long time. Isn't it amazing what a restaurant mogul he's become? Very much. I, I saw him when he was uh, at the Valeries years ago, and then he went from there to Lulu's, and then to 849, and 1501, and now here. He's quite he's quite the restaurateur, yes. He certainly very well. He does it very well. Yes, he certainly is. Uh, he's got hospitality down. What would you like to add, Carol? Oh, I was just we were just talking about his evolution. What she just stated, it's amazing. I mean, it, 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 he keeps taking it to another level. So yeah, it's very impressive, and um, he seems to really love it, which I think is probably why he's successful. Well, I'm, per I'm particularly grateful that um, they agreed to remove the calories from our meals this evening. So it was a guilt-free experience. <laughs> you know. We're about to divulge in dessert, so uh, I can't wait for that. <laughs> well, enjoy your dessert. Thank you. Nicholas, it was so Glad good to, to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you Nicholas. Promo homo. Thank yes. you. Yeah. Take care. <laughs> Big congratulations to Willie Ryan and Chad Gardner, and uh, we're just very fortunate, those of us that live here in the Coachella Valley, and if you are going to be traveling to the Coachella Valley, 
Uh, you can experience uh, the re the restaurant as well. Just go to willysrm.com. By the way, this is not advertorial. I was not paid to do this broadcast. I did it uh, because I love Willie and uh, I like telling stories. And I do look forward to going back to Willie's because um, when you're concentrating on how to produce a television show while experiencing something, it can take away from the experience itself. And I, I'm looking forward to going back when I can just focus on the meal. I really appreciate your support as well. I thank you for watching. And uh, I look forward to seeing you next time.